Hello. This video I'm going to talk about augmented triads in their context as colour chords in harmonic progressions. Now these chords are really relatively straightforward to understand and uh, they are used now and again. They're, I wouldn't say they are, they are uh, the most prevalent type of colourful chord that you can use but they are to be found and so we should cover them and at least be aware of them. So uh, let's first of all look at a little bit of um, voice leading. If we had a situation where we had a G going to an A, it is fairly logical that at times a composer might slip in a little chromatic note in between. Instead of going straight from G to A, they would instead go chromatically G, G sharp to A. This could happen on and off at different times in harmonic progressions, and this note's not really outside of the key, it's just linking two notes that are in the key, and it's linking it chromatically. Now, if you do this too much, if you start going on up chromatically, then you start to lose a sense of the key. But in an isolated incident, it's just a little colorful step up to the next note of the key. So you can imagine that happens quite a lot. Well, it's most likely that when that happened, there were periods of time when the harmony underneath here was kind of held on until you reached the new harmony here. And if indeed you harmonize this in a certain way and then hold that harmony, which I've written out here, then you can in fact create in this moment a new chord. If you see this, if we were in C major, this would be a one chord and this would be a four chord, and there's not really any problems with that, that makes sense. But this chord in the middle here, it's either a chord with a tiny little bit of chromatic moment going on, a chromatic note that isn't really in the key at all, or it is a one augmented chord. And on a one level, if we were to stop and analyze it, that is a C, E, G sharp chord, that is a C augmented chord. And so it's possible that as harmonic uh, experimentation went on, as color was added to harmonies, that what started perhaps as just a little chromatic inflection becomes a much more solid chordal occurrence with a one chord becoming an augmented chord and moving on to a four chord. We see it happen um, from the four chord as well. You could have a four chord which becomes augmented and then leads you nicely to a five chord. Um, and honestly, the primary triads generally can do this. Uh, the five chord could also become augmented and lead you on to a, a chord uh, that would have the note that you would need to resolve as you move up. Remember, there's a chromatic note here that's moving. In this case, it's the G to G sharp to A. And if you were doing this with a four chord, let's do this down here. Here's the four chord. It becomes this and then would move on to uh, this, probably. Which would, could be a 5-7 chord there. You would kind of implying the 7th, you put it in there. You see what I mean? So something along those lines, it would create a 4 chord to a 4 augment to a 5-7 chord. There would be a way of, of using this chromatic change to actually create a new chord for a moment. And this often happened in harmonic progressions that you start to see these chromatic uh, chords, these augmented chords, occurring. They're not really in the key, but they serve to link two chords together that have, are, are chromatically connected. That is to say, they are a, there's two notes within the two chords that are a step apart, and you chromatically join them with the note that would exist in the middle, stepping up chromatically up the scale. Now, it's really that simple. Once you have an initial chord that is major, you can chromatically alter it to become augmented. It has to be major to start with. If you start with a minor chord, obviously that's not going to work. You have to make too many adjustments. But a major chord can be chromatically altered to become augmented, and then you can step from there to a chord which has the note that is chromatically above the uh, altered note, as long as this note is in the chord, you can go to really any chord that has that note in it. And uh, composers played with that and experimented with that. They found that some progressions worked better than others, and those tend to occur more often. Uh, but the basic concept of taking a major chord and then raising the top note to make an augmented chord and then moving beyond that to a chord 
which chromatically goes on up from that point. That is the kind of concept behind the idea of using these kind of augmented chords in harmonic progressions. We'll look at this again in class a little bit more, try and find some examples of it. Uh, but as I say, in the grand scheme of things, this is not used as much as some of the other chromatic material that we will be looking at. Thank you.